Ever since the absence of the great Yao Ming back in the early and mid 2000s, there hasn't been a standout Chinese player in the NBA. And yeah, there was Yi Jian Lian, who was probably the second best player coming out of China, but he didn't have the same dominance and influence as Yao did. And there hasn't been an active Chinese player in the NBA in the last five years, but the time has come. And in this video, I am going to talk about two Chinese players who came from China who will change the game in the NBA and also bring back the international culture back to the NBA. Starting off with player number one, Ding Yen Yu Hong. Ding is a 6'7 forward swing man from the CBA. He is a certified all-star and an offensive force. And after having a breakout season for the Shangdong Golden Stars, he earned himself the CBA regular season MVP. Averaging 24 points, 5 rebounds, 2 assists, and 2 steals. Ding is fearless and super aggressive when driving to the rack. I would say he's a bit above average in terms of athleticism. And in one of the games in the Orlando Summer League, Ding tried to bang on Duke on a fast break. You don't really see that many Asians dudes trying to boom on people in a game. And that's what I like about him. Some of Dane's pro attributes is his aggression to attack the rack. He drives to the basket really hard. Either he draws a foul or he finishes the play. He is an incredible hustle player. He's all over the place. He's fighting for rebounds. He's fighting for loose balls. Plus, he's a pretty solid defender, I might say. He moves his feet pretty well. He's very dynamic when coming off the screens. He can dribble, he can pass, which makes him a very versatile player. Ding's weakness has got to be his outside shooting. He is very inconsistent. Some games he might shoot one for five from the outside and other games he might shoot better. And given the games that we saw from the Summer League, Ding hasn't really shot the ball well from outside. Ding finished off the Orlando Summer League averaging 8.2 points, 2.6 rebounds, 2 assists, all while averaging 20 minutes per game. And in the Vegas Summer League where he got less playing time, only playing 12 minutes per game, Ding only averaged 5.8 points and 2.7 rebounds. But in the Vegas Summer League, Ding had the crowd cheering for him every time he entered the game, every time he touched the ball, they would go berserk when he scored. He even got MVP chance when he was shooting free throws. MVP! MVP! Okay, they're chanting MVP in the building. Ding for MVP! Shout out to Ding. Ding Yan Yu Hong is a very exciting player to watch, and here are some of the reasons where I think that he might be the most exciting player to come out of China. He can eyeball people going up for a jumper, he can blow by people, drive down the lane and boom it on someone, and then bust out a celebration. Ding got that swagger. Are we going to anticipate the new beginnings of Ding Sanity? Moving on to the second Chinese player on this list, Joe Chi. Joe Chi is a 7 foot 2 inches super lanky tree. No, he ain't even a human being. He ain't a person. He literally looks like a tree. Dude nearly has a 7 foot 8 inch wingspan which ranks amongst the longest wingspans in the draft combine. That's crazy. Joji has good mobility, a soft shooting touch, and good rim protection abilities. He played for the Xinjian Flying Tigers in the CBA, averaging 16 points, 10 rebounds, and 2 blocks. All while shooting 60% from the field and 36% from the 3 point line, helping his team win the first CBA championship in the 2017 season. Joe was selected by the Houston Rockets in the second round as the number 43rd pick in the 2016 NBA Draft. Joe Chi's game fits well in the modern NBA. He's a long, versatile forward slash center who can step out and hit a three-point shot and can run the floor. Like I said, he has good rim protection with his shot blocking abilities and he actually moves his feet pretty quickly for a big guy. And in the Vegas Summer League, he blocked the crap out of the number fourth pick star, Josh Jackson, sending his shot all the way back to the sideline. Get that ish out of here, man. Chinese, represent. But his biggest weakness, though, is, shout out to Richard Lee, very, very, very thin. Dude is like a triple XL pair of chopsticks that runs and shoots and plays basketball. Joe's slight frame is going to be a huge liability when banging inside of the paint, so he's gonna have to eat more barbecues being in Texas and gain some weight. And also, he's gonna have to hit the weight room and gain some muscle as well, or he's gonna get punked around in the league. And in his five games playing for the Houston Rockets in the Vegas Summer League, Zochi averaged 6.2 points, 4.8 rebounds, 0.8 assists, 1.2 steals, and two blocks, all while playing 25 minutes per game. Man, so we got some good memory. Hopefully Jochi can be the modern day Yao Ming in today's NBA with his versatile skill set. But hey, Yao Ming is still the GOAT Chinese player. Hopefully there will be a new GOAT someday. Both Ding Yan Yu Hong and Jochi are going to be rising stars 
being at the age of 23 and 21 respectively. They both played for the Chinese national team in the 2016 Olympics, so you know they can hoop. I really hope that both Ding and Jochi can land their way into the NBA. According to NBA sources, Jochi and the Houston Rockets have came to an agreement for a multi-year deal while we have yet to hear anything about Ding. I believe that they have a lot of potential and are capable of contributing to a team in the league. I'm not saying they're going to come right in and start killing the game, no. But maybe coming off the bench as energizer players would be good to see. The NBA and its team want to increase the popularity to the Asian community and having two of the biggest Chinese players from the CBA on a roster would be a great move for the league. I really hope they can succeed. Even Asian American star Jeremy Lin from the Brooklyn Nets said in an interview that he hopes that they play well. Because people tend to underestimate and look down on Asian ball players. And as a fellow Asian hooper, it's always great to see your people make it and do well. Thank you guys for watching that video. I really hope that Ding and Jochi can represent all the Asians and succeed in the NBA. Let me know down in the comments below how you guys think that Zhou Qi and Ding Yan Yu Huang will do in the NBA. And also, who are other Chinese players that you guys think that might have a chance in the NBA? Watch this video over here. Watch this video over here. Don't forget to subscribe up there. And until next time, Nelson Chan from Hoopin' Life. I'm out. Peace.